Hi everyone, I'm Kelly, I'm Isla's mummy. Um, just wanted to go over um, a little bit about my accent and hopefully it can help people um, with dogs and puppies. Um, so basically, within the first week of bringing Isla home, I had this accident which has resulted in an operation, which I had yesterday. So sorry, no makeup and crappy hair, um, but I really can't be bothered today. <laughs> I'm in too much pain to move. Um, so basically, I was knocked over whilst running on a patio by an adult dog, so 30 odd kilos, and just landed smack down onto my shoulder. Um, I've had dislocations since that time, and basically it's, um, I fractured the actual shoulder socket. So not just the, the lip of the socket that they thought, but the actual base of the socket as well, as well as um, all the tendons and ligaments that go along with any dislocation are were completely stretched and fucked, basically. Um, so <laughs> unfortunately, I had to wait for this um, specialist sh shoulder surgeon to come back, which is why it's been delayed for so long. Um, I had the operation yesterday. They managed to do it keyhole. So I've got a scar here and a scar there. And this is my position for the next three weeks, I can't use the arm at all. Um, this is actually my right shoulder, even though it's the phone that switched around. Um, fortunately, I'm left-handed, um, which is great. Um, however, I can't work. I've not been working for the past month or so, and I won't be able to for the foreseeable, at least for another month or so, I would imagine. Um, so obviously, it's not a great time for me, let alone with having a puppy to look after, which you can hear them both being idiots in the background there so sorry um but basically my point would be is to make sure you have good recall with the dog because i'm young ish fit and healthy i mean i'm in my 30s so not going to go into any further detail on that um but i mean just consider if a dog jumped up and knocked over an elderly person like your grandmother for example they broke their hip and then it's a slippery slope so um, Isla's starting to jump up now and she's being a bit bothersome with it and she's only like 15 kilos. So we're trying to nip that in the bed now and obviously working on recall like we would with any, any dog or puppy. Um, but just wanting to stress to the point that it's so important to be able to stop the dog in the tracks so accidents like this don't occur. I mean, I was fortunate that I didn't do any further damage because I almost hit my head and that would have been a lot worse obviously because it was on a on a stone surface um but that's also I'm just wanting to say hi <laughs> apologize for looking like crap but it is what it is um but today is the the road to recovery but it's going to be another six to eight months until I can get back to normal I think <laughs> hopefully whatever normal is um but I just wanted to share the story just hopefully it can help you guys um, with the dog training and make sure other people are doing the same. All right, bye. <laughs>